So this question comes from David T. I have some family over for the during the holidays, and I've been helping them with their computers as it's running very slowly, whereas several months ago it was blazing fast. So I'm curious as to why Windows computers uh, break down so much. It seems to me that Windows needs to be completely wiped and reinstalled periodically, which is something most people don't have the time for. I do understand that there are some factors as to how computers slow down and why Windows needs to be reinstalled periodically, which is commonly due to crapware and malware. Uh, although my family's computers all have a good antivirus software and do not have lots of software running, nor do they have any crapware, even if all the software is up to date. So basically the question is, is why do Windows computers slow down over time? You know, you go out, you buy a brand new Windows computer, and then it starts slow and slow and slow and slow and slow and slowing down. And why is that? And so why do you have to wipe and reload uh, the Windows PC periodically? Well, the first thing that I would say is I would argue that it's a bit of a wack wives tale that you have to wipe and reload your PC periodically unless you're doing a lot of wacky stuff to it. If you're a teenager and you're installing a zillion different things and un uninstalling a zillion different things to your computer, you probably want to wipe and reload it every every year. Uh, but for the average user, the idea that you have to wipe and reload it like once a year really, really, really is not the case. A, a good tune-up on the computer will do fine for you. So why do these Windows computers Computers slow down over time um, and this this is a big problem in the Windows world and frankly it is not a problem in the Mac world uh, or in the Linux world simply because how Windows has been built from the ground up the biggest problem with Windows is that there's no good internal self-cleaning functionality we talk about going out and defragmenting the registry cleaning up temporary files going through all of these tune-up processes now if Microsoft actually built the operating system the way you would think they should build an operating system, all of that kind of stuff would be built into it and would be done periodically. I mean, you really have to ask yourself the question, why doesn't Windows simply periodically just clean up the registry on its own? Why isn't it good about going through and cleaning all the temporary files and all that kind of stuff? The big problem with Windows computers is essentially there's, not, there, there's very little of the self-cleaning function, and so all of these things just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and that's one of the things that slows down the computer. So like with the, the registry, essentially with the registry, uh, that is a database of, of a lot of different configurations for your computer. And when you install software, uh, new keys are added to that registry, right? Which, which makes sense. You know, they, you install a piece of software, a new key is added to the, to the registry. The problem is, is when you uninstall the software, uh, that key is not necessarily uh, always deleted. So what happens a lot with the registry is you get all these keys and then a huge chunk of them are not used anymore. The problem is, is every time that the computer or the operating system needs to read the registry, it needs to read both the keys that are still in use and the keys that are not in use. And sometimes those keys that are not in use point to things that no longer exist. And then one of the, the problems you get to with the registry is your computer reads the, reads the registry, it finds a key that it thinks is right, that key points to something that doesn't exist, but the problem is, is the computer then needs to wait for like a fail out period of time. So it tries to access a file and then it waits for a millisecond as it's trying to see if that file actually exists and that file doesn't actually exist and it kind of slows down your computer. So you need to go through and you need to defragment your registry to try to get rid of uh, all of that uh, information. You need to go through and clean up all the files on your computer. So your computer, you know, gets more and more and more and more and more data on it. Uh, things like temporary files, if you use BitTorrent clients, a lot of people don't think, I've seen this, where like up to 50 gigs was used by one client where they had a they, they used BitTorrent. Well, the thing was, they had this massive folder of incomplete uh, file downloads where, you know, they try to download a movie or whatever else, and they got like 95% of it, and then they never got the rest. And so you had this huge folder with with all that kind of stuff. And so the issue is, is that Windows just doesn't go through and clean up all of those kinds of things. So that's one of the big things is when you go through a normal tune-up process, you go through and you clean out all that stuff because it will make your your computer run faster. The next thing that slows down com uh, Windows computers is the problem of startup processes. This has been a horrible issue for, 
for 20 years now or however long now um, and Microsoft again hasn't come up with a good solution for it where basically what happens is when you install a, little, a lot of these different pieces of software they will automatically add themselves to software that should start when the computer starts so let's say you install QuickBooks or you install Adobe Acrobat and you install all this different software well the reality is is when you need that software you need that software and when you don't need the software you don't need the software so the problem is, is when the computer boots up, all of the, these 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 uh, these applications have been added to the startup routine, so that they all start. So the problem is, is you have all of these background processes ha uh, occurring even when you actually don't need to use them. You don't need to use QuickBooks right now. You don't need to use Adobe Acrobat right now. You don't need to use Weatherbug right now. But they're all running in the background. So again, you need to go through and you need to clean up all those startup processes um, to get rid of all the things that you don't need. You do need some drivers to start when the computer starts. You do need the antivirus to start when the computer starts. You do need the anti-malware or the backup software to start when the computer starts. Again, you don't need Adobe Acrobat. You don't necessarily need Weatherbug. You don't necessarily need all this other software that's starting. And so the issue is, is a lot of people, um, you know, they go out, they install all of this different software, and again, that fills up the, the whole startup routine, and, and that can be a problem. The other problem with Windows PCs is, again, since it doesn't have that self-cleaning functionality, a lot of the software will add itself to startup routines. Uh, so when the computer starts up, uh, it's triggered, but then somebody uninstalls the software, but they don't, they don't delete where there's that trigger for that software to start when the computer starts up. So basically the computer starts up, the computer thinks I have to start this process, this process no longer exists because it's been deleted, and then you have to wait the timeout period until it fails. And that's why you get some of those little errors every once in a while. Um, that, 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 that's one reason. Uh, the final reason that Windows uh, computers slow down, and this is a real pain in the butt, especially from the computer repair uh, business, is that when, compute, when, when operating systems are, are initially come out, um, they, they don't have all the functionality that they will need at the end of the day. There's security holes, there's problems, that's all, there's all that kind of stuff. So new updates to the operating system come out. So that's normally what you hear about with service packs. Well, the issue is, the issue is, is those service packs then require more resources from your computer. So if you look at back at the Windows XP days, because that was that's the best way to look at this. The original Windows XP actually only needed 64 megs of RAM to run, and it could run good. Like, if you had 128 megs of RAM on your Windows XP computer the day that Windows XP came out, that ran blazing fast, really, really, really fast. Well, then they came out with Service Pack 1, that was Service Pack 1A, and Service Pack 2, and Service Pack 3. And by the time that they came out with Service Pack 3, the, the, they, they had lumped so many more things into the operating system that you needed a, basically a minimum of 512 worth of RAM in order for your computer to, to run well. So one of the issues we ran into in the, in the repair world is we would go through the startup, the, 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 the tune-up routine where we would clean out all the viruses and we clean out all the malware and we do all the things and we would run all the updates for that Windows computer. Well, the issue was is it would be an older computer and once you installed all the updates, it would actually start running slower uh, than when the person had given it to you. So if you really want to fund the sales process, try getting money out of somebody when they're getting back their fully tuned up computer that in fact runs slower than when they gave it to you and explain to you them why that happened. So these are some of the reasons that Windows PCs slow down over time. You know, what are you going to do? Again, I would say just go through the normal tune-up routine um, and you should be fine. The whole idea that you have to wipe and reload every once in a while, really, again, if you are a 14-year-old wannabe hacker, by all means, wipe and reload. But, you know, if you're a 40-year-old mom or dad, you shouldn't have to wipe and reload unless your computer actually crashes, and that really is the truth. What I would say is go out, I always say go for CCleaner. CCleaner cleans out your temporary files, it cleans out your uh, your registry, all that kind of stuff, and then also make sure you use um, low resource antivirus software. One of the problems is people go out there and they buy these very robust anti software, uh, antivirus packages. And the problem is, is those antivirus packages require so many resources, it slows down the computer. Um, a lot of times, I won't use any names here, but you, you see some of the, the, these, these pieces of antivirus software that just massively slow down the computer. And literally, all you have to do to make the computer run faster is uninstall that particular piece of antivirus software and install a different one. Uh, so if you're 
computer having problems with the computer running slow, uh, free, free things you might look at is Microsoft Security Essentials is free and very uh, low resource requirement. Avast is pretty good. AVG is pretty good. So that's one thing you may think about too, because some of this antivirus software, they're just, oh my God. I mean, it, you know, it's like, okay, it, it keeps your computer safe, but you don't want to use your computer because it's so slow. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so there we go. That is why the computers slow down. And you just simply, you know, why does that happen uh, with Windows when it doesn't happen to Mac and Linux? And, and it's just fundamentally, it's it's how the operating systems are built. Uh, Mac and Linux don't have that whole registry thing. The registry is an issue. Cleaning up files an is, is an issue. Um, just it's just. It's just how the, the computers are built. Windows is just built in a way that frankly breaks down over time. But again, a simple, simple tune-up routine and you should be fine.